after Avengers Endgame, a lot of people found themselves wondering just what exactly would have happened if Thanos did in fact get to pull off the snap and all the stones were in his gauntlet. Well, the result is King Thanos who won Avengers Endgame. And this will be a what if tale that will not be explorable in Marvel's What If, and instead you will have to go to Disney and experience it. So this part of the MCU storytelling will actually be happening over in California's Adventure Avengers Campus. And this will be a longer ride than what most people are used to, and it will officially bring us into the what if scenario of what if Thanos won during Avengers Endgame. Now this isn't just going to be the characters of Avengers Endgame, they actually showed off the concept art and you can see that there's multiple Spider-Men, including the Spider-Man from the upcoming freshman year. You can see the Hydra Stomper. You can also see characters like Werewolf by Night, and also you can see characters like Man-Thing and Daredevil, for example. You can see multiple versions of Hulk, including one that looks more like the comic book version. And then, of course, you have the Ragnarok version. So this honestly looks pretty cool, and it looks like it's going to be a good what-if tale to really bring fans close to the MCU action. Now, the thing that's really interesting to me here is the fact that there were some rumors that we might be getting this as an actual what-if episode for Marvel's What If cartoon series, but then it looks like this probably says otherwise because they will obviously want you to go pay money and enjoy this ride, which kind of makes sense from a business standpoint. And I do think that there is something really interesting here that you can build off of and further expand the Marvel Universe, which I think is really cool. And I like this whole idea of having, um, you know, things to do around different locations that aren't just sitting down and watching one specific product. Sort of like Star Wars and what they're doing with Batu and all that. I like that idea, even though not everybody gets to experience it. It's not necessarily important to the overall story, but as a fan, it gets you into that world and it gets you having some fun. And since Disney's going to be expanding the Marvel um, everything at Disney Parks, this might just be a, a good incentive to get people to come in and really enjoy a unique one-of-a-kind ride that takes you on a adventure through the Marvel multiverse. 